This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Parrish. U.S. Border Patrol agents say transportation challenges along the border are putting a strain on their agency. Agents are using DHS security buses to transport migrant families to other patrol stations or to the hospital. But agents have to be certified and get a commercial license to drive the buses. That takes an 88 hour expensive course. They have to go to a school uh, that's local here in Yuma. So that takes them out of the field and out of their border security mission in order to go and get trained. Right now, there are 12 agents in the Yuma sector who are certified with commercial licenses. The Arizona Senate is giving new life to a bill that targets teachers who try to influence students' politics or religious views. The Rules Committee advanced the bill without notice last night after sitting on it for nearly two months. As is, the bill would fine teachers up to $5,000 but after pushback, Republican Kelly Townsend has agreed to change it so school districts are punished instead. Democrats say the bill is retali retaliation for last year's Red for Ed movement. Let's get over to Kyler Diggs. Uh, a windy, windy day again today. Yes, the wind continues to blow across southern Arizona and it continues to bring in much cooler than average air to our region. 78 degrees for a high on Thursday. 88 degrees on Friday. We do make it to 90 on Saturday, but for the remainder of the Memorial Day weekend, we have another low pressure system that'll skirt the area. And yeah, guess what? Bring more wind to the area and cooler temperatures. Look at that high on Memorial Day, a high of 84 degrees, and then it does warm up back into the low 90s by the middle of next week, which is still actually a couple of degrees below average for this time of the year. It's really been something else. Scott, like, thank you. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kgun9.com. Follow us on social media as well. Thanks for joining us.